kids, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex. Mm. And we have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I've got a lot of hauls, guys, because they just bring, keep bringing out the good stuff and I need to show you. So we'll just keep bringing it. Um, I've got a lot of Christmassy crafty stuff in this haul, but let's get started. I found the deer. The eyes are a little weird, guys, but irrelevant. I love this ornament. For a tree, a tray, I just a sign, I just love it. And I think it's done pretty well. It's a plastic ornament covered in burlap. So I grabbed this one, and then I grabbed the cardinal. For those that don't know, I think this is our state bird of Ohio. And I love the little red detail at the bottom on the the little detail there. Now, this one, that's the only bling. And on this one, the white is sparkly. Mm, something got the roof of my mouth. I found some more fabric. I will tell you, I spent today sewing some Christmas bags that I was making as gifts. I made eight of them. Three were mine. Um, but I used this fabric on a couple of the bags, the fabric that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm not mad in the least little bit. It's nice fabric. It's a little rough, but for crafting purposes, I'm trying to open this one up because I'm almost 100% sure it's got gnomes on it, which is why I bought it. Yeah, it does. Okay. So I don't know what's going to become of this one. But I love that fabric. I just think it's fun. It's got this like tealy blue background with snowflakes and then the gnomes and the red and green. Even a little, that's a plaid, red and black plaid. I love it. So I grabbed two of those. I always grab two because I really never know what kind of project I wanna make and it's a fat quarter, so. And then this is just the red and white. If I decide to make a project bag out of it, then that will be the lining. For it oh if you saw my my vlog my hair is flat I was out in the rain collecting firewood uh, I purchased it from a gentleman that lives about a half an hour from me so that was exciting I think I have enough for the winter if not he said he has plenty and I can just go back and get more there's Alex he loves the fireplace yeah and there's Wellington you can see that little black there's Alex and right that's Wellington that's his winter bed <laughs> and that's another Dollar Tree haul in the corner we're not gonna talk about it okay I found these bows I didn't find the white but I did get a package of the red I didn't think I needed more than one package which we'll see um, these are just like the large ones but they're back you know backed in plastic so these would be okay for outdoor I think these would be super cute on my, my bedroom I do a green garland over my headboard that I light up at night and I think these would work on that because I think I want to redo it this year got that then I found which I was pretty excited for snowballs and they're coming in three different sizes. These are also just giant pom-poms. You can put this on a Santa head, but they're calling them snowball. You get three large, you get eight of the medium, and you get 15 of the small. And I'm thinking I wanna fill a bucket and I wanna do like the snowballs five cents. So having, and I know I have this size in my basement with my winter stuff, my Christmas stuff. So I only grabbed one package of this size, but I thought the other two sizes would be great for stacking. So yeah, three different size snowballs. And these are so fun to decorate with, especially like winter time, right after Christmas. I have to clean my glasses after Christmas time. Right now I'm, I'm smelling and I'm making some pumpkin bread for the week. Um, this is a fantastic star and again not just for Christmas obviously you can make a Christmas wreath out of this but 4th of July summer Memorial Day Labor Day I have zero plans for it so yeah I just bought it because it was something different that I hadn't seen and I really think I want to save it for summer 
and maybe do some type of a denim wreath out of it for the summertime. But we'll see. Or wall hanging. Um, I picked up another package of these. These are just the little tiny zip bags. And I use them for like lots of lots of things. And I was down to like a half a pack. Um, I do use them when I travel for medicine. This is a heads up. Um, I decided I needed the red and green Jingle Bell Garland when I saw it. I have red and gold, so I wanted the red and green pack. I don't think it comes in just plain green. I think it's red and green. So I grabbed that just for my stash, uh, my or our craft room. I did find this crystal like, crystal like reindeer. Look at his antlers. They are so glittery. I think this is really fun. I don't, I don't again have plans for it. The thing is that I like is you can cut this string off and honestly mount this on something, put a couple of them and it looks like reindeer taking off or you can use it as an ornament or in your winter decor. I just thought it was pretty and I wanted to show you. And they also have like a Pegasus. That's a big fire I got going behind me. Uh, they had like a Pegasus with wings, but I like the more traditional reindeer. So that's what I picked up. I grabbed two of this sign, let it snow. Um, one, they're, these are much thinner. I'm making an outdoor sign. I'm going to use this. And I think what I'm going to do is glue these together to give them a little more stability. These are kind of reminiscent of the older signs that really flex. And so I think if I would glue them together, this will make a better setup for my outdoors, which I will make a DIY. I'm using the big snowflakes and I wanted a sign that said, let it snow. So I'm gonna attach two together, especially since it's gonna be outdoors. I finally found a glue gun. Do I need a glue gun? No, I have two, no, I have three. But I want to put this in like a travel. I have like a little to-go craft kit. And I thought this would be perfect. It does come with the little tri triangle to stand it up. I've never used it. It is Crafter Square Hot Melt Glue Gun. So it is hot. But yeah. I thought I would give it a try. I was kind of hoping the tip was a little more tight than mine. Precision. But it's not. But that's okay. Everybody always needs a backup glue gun. I apparently need two. Um, this is the tube confetti. This stuff is fantastic and I love the metallics. Especially if you're doing a gingerbread theme, you could fill ornaments with this copper and gold combined together. But I also like this silvery black steel. I love the metallics. I'm really a fan of metallics. This one, I would love to do something for fall. Um, I had one package, but it didn't seem like enough, so I just grabbed a second. It'll just go in my everyday storage until I come up with a plan for it, but I really enjoyed having that on hand. Again, for winter, I'm loving all the snowflake themed stuff, so I just grabbed some of this. It's foam scatter. You can string this, though, with a needle and thread and make a garland. Now, I wouldn't do this in front of my fireplace. This is styrofoam and it could melt because I use my fireplace, but I could hang this anywhere or just scatter it, put it in a jar for winter time. I'm really trying to, I'm very much lacking in winter decor. I have tons of Christmas, fall, Halloween, but I don't have a lot of winter. So this year I'm trying to come up with, um, some decor items to put out between Christmas and spring. And I think, and I've decided on snowflakes and like snow this year and navy blue and white and silver, I think are my, where I'm going this year. We'll see how it works out, but that's the plan. I grabbed some of this. I don't know why I detest it, but it is styrofoam fake snow. I hate it, but it's necessary in certain, certain things. And the great thing is it's super lightweight. Um, what I don't like is it's staticky. And so when it when you put it in stuff, it gets everywhere. That being said, it does have its place in life. So I grabbed just one bag in case I needed it. And then I found finally the sleds again. I had one of each. And so I grabbed one more. Well, I had two of these. This one and this one. So I grabbed one more because I've already used 
this one. I grabbed one more of this one and then I grabbed two of this one because I really like the idea of personalizing somebody's name up here or putting these. These actually can go on your winter decor as well. These do not have to be Christmas. I think these are perfectly acceptable. Get a snowman on here or some snowflakes, paint it up and get it out with your Christmas decor or your winter decor. I'm just dropping all the things. So I did grab a couple extra. My store that I went to to get these, they were just unloading all the things. But let's do a thumbnail. I always tilt my head. Is that weird? I don't know. Am I weird? Probably. All right, let me put this stuff back. I am so trying to keep my house tidy, guys. It's not going well, just so we're all aware. But I did get a huge accomplishment done. I While I'm doing this, I'll tell you a little story. I have a planner that I use. I think we've always talked about my planner situation. But I also have like a holiday planner it's not really a planner it's more like a notebook going and so i have a separate calendar set up and it's all about the holidays and not about work and things like that so i have this list what is he doing hi buddy i have this list of to-do list each month and if i don't finish it it gets whatever doesn't get finished on the to-do list carries over i know that i'm never going to get to everything it's just Things that pop into my head, I put it down on paper. But in October, I really, really, really wanted to finish that sewing, and I did, so I'm happy. Okay, that's all, thank you. Ooh, I was in the party section, and look what I found. I love these. And then they had it in a rose gold, which I'm obsessed with. I don't know what I'm gonna do with rose gold, but I'm kind of obsessed with this. And you get three of these. <sighs> If you were around last year, my family, mainly my brother, niece, and I, get each other sort of like a gag gift, but it's not really a gag gift. I mean, it is, but it isn't. One year, my brother got his daughter a life-size blanket picture of himself. Last year, or one year, I gave him a framed picture of myself with coffee. Last year, he gave us air fresheners with his face on it. It's in my car. I think I showed it. So this year's gift wait till it comes. I'm going to show y'all, but I needed some fancy wrapping paper because I'm going to wrap it gloriously. I'll just tell you my face is on it four different times and it lights up. So there's that. And I'm, and his wife promises me it'll end up in their house. So that's important. Um, speaking of gag gifts, guys, it's a box of bubble wrap sheets. I, I'm not kidding. That's what it is. Is it worth a dollar for the fun of it? Yes. So they're literally sheets of bubble wrap for you to snap. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. And I don't know why I had to buy it. But most likely I'm giving it to my brother, other brother. And it says bubble wrap pop sheets. Stress sheets, they're calling them. I just find this the most hilarious gag gift. And it's getting gifted this year for one shiny dollar. So I grabbed that. Oh, I found this U candle, Y-E-W. This is not a green briar, so I don't know if it'll be in everybody's store. It is Essence Candle Company. Um, I did see Thrifty Divas haul it, Fiona. So I decided that I needed to haul it too. She's gifting hers because she's a better person than I am. I'm keeping mine. trying to figure out what it smells like it's a it's melted well now I know why it's at the Dollar Tree there's really no scent to it it is soy and it's really pretty but there's not too much of a scent but I'm okay with that I love this I love burning candles guys I've got maybe I'm a fire starter no I'm not I'm kidding as I'm sitting here in front of my candles burning in the fireplace but this would be a cute little gift, especially if you have somebody who doesn't like strong scented candles. Like this in a little gift basket would be fun. I'm just saying. Um, I picked up one more of these little condiment cups for a advent calendar I'm doing. And I needed, I think I needed one more to make 25 because they, they're 12 packs. I just grabbed one more to have. 
for one of the ideas that we're going to do in the advent calendar. Um, okay, I bought three of these, which on their own, they're cute. Now, I did see Sarah Jane on Chic on the Cheap do a, something with these. She spray painted them. And then I saw on Pinterest somebody, which is what I'm going to do, you take all the hair off. She, they spray painted it white and then painted each individual piece like different colors like repainted him. So we'll see if it happens, but my bathroom down here is pink. It's gonna be pink and mint green this winter for Christmas. And I was thinking I could spray paint these white and accent them a little bit with some pink paint and put them in my bathroom. We'll see, they're cute just as they are though. I mean, the detail is amazing. And for $1, I think they're fantastic on, the own, on their own. So I picked those three. I found, oh, I did grab one of the smaller water bulbs, water globes. So we're not all nuts. They do have them out in two sizes this year. This is the first of the small I've seen. And I do like to do things in threes. So I'm wondering if I can do the two big and this one small and kind of make them cohesive to set up somewhere. I don't know. I don't fill mine with water. I just think that just sounds like a mess. And I, if I want to keep it, I wouldn't want to store it. Although I think you traditionally would use glycerin. It's pouring down rain. Um, I did pick up two of these gingerbread kits. I love making gingerbread cookies with these. And this is good until July of 22. Um, I love this Betty Crocker. And I also love that these are small so that I can do them in small batches for me because I don't bake a lot of cookies, but I do like to gift cookies. So I grabbed two of the small bags. I think the big size, which is probably two of these, is like $1.89. So it really was worth the 11 cents to have the smaller packages so I can just mix up a half a batch is my thought when I'm gonna go somewhere and give cookies. And that's what works for me. On the food front, I grabbed five pepperoni sticks. Um, if you know keto, these are great to have for meal substitutes or for me, like this week I'm working three days at my part-time job and this and a protein bar would probably be dinner for me. So I grabbed five of these and I think in my other haul, I have the meat and cheese sticks, which are great as well. So I grab them when I see them, but I don't want to get too, too many, but I have five and that'll get me through the week. And I think that's it for just regular food. I found a chocolatey hollow filled with mini marshmallow hot chocolate bomb. This is by Palmer. You put it in hot chocolate and it melts. You put it in hot milk <laughs> and the chocolate melts. These were all the rage DIY last year. Companies were putting them out. So I thought maybe they would, you know, I wasn't surprised I suppose to see it. I only got one. I don't, I am not a huge fan of Palmer chocolate. I can't have this anyway, but we are setting up for Christmas the um, coffee bar and I thought somebody might enjoy trying this. So I grabbed that. And then I think in my other, yeah, my other haul, I have some other stuff, but I also grabbed some of this hot apple cider mix to have on my coffee bar because not everybody drinks coffee. And this is four pouches of spiced apple cider. And I think you just mix it with a cup, I believe. Place one cup prepared and cool. Oh, that's for a drink. I don't know what the directions are. Oh yeah, you mix it with one, eight ounces of hot water. So I thought between having hot chocolate, coffee and apple cider, and then probably tea, everybody would be covered. Although I think I'm the only one that will drink the tea too, so. It's all for looks, kids. It's all for looks. Uh, the last Christmassy thing I grabbed, I grabbed an SC because, you know, Santa Claus. I wanted to have, I want to monogram something. Uh, SC. And it might be like SC, Santa Claus, North Pole established, or some type of sign, but I wanted these big glittery um, letters to do that. So I grabbed SC, you know, the Santa Claus. I love that movie. Okay, and then the last fall thing for Thanksgiving, I just grabbed a pack of napkins because I thought these were nice and simple and fun. 
and yeah and you get 20 napkins in here so um sarah's coming here we're having thanksgiving and then she's off on a little trip and i am watching the dog so we're gonna do thanksgiving at my house this year have i think we're gonna make a charcuterie board so this is what we needed for napkins so i just grabbed them i will probably pick up paper plates but i think i have some so i wanted to check first now in the health and beauty area and this is the end of this haul I found some fun things. Ugh. I found the um, Hard Candy Galactic Eyes. Look at that metallic, guys. I just think this will be super fun, especially for like an, I would use this for like an eyeliner, not a whole eye. But it comes with all these different metallic colors and I think they're pretty fantastic. I don't, I'm not gonna open it because I may choose to give it away. Um, so I'm not sure what you know what the um how opaque it is but i thought it was super fun so i grabbed the galax or galactic eyes and then i found if you know my obsession with nail files this is miss manicure i know i've seen this brand somewhere but these are the tiny little emery boards and i like to keep these in my purse because if i break something it just drives me nuts and then i start biting at it so it's better for me to have a a little tiny emery board so i just keep these in my purse that'll stay down here and i hope that works better than the dollar tree ones the dollar tree ones are nice and convenient except for you run you file one nail and they're pretty dead so i'm hoping that's better um i found this is flower brand and if you're not familiar flower brand is from drew barrymore it's her line and this is just a brush it doesn't tell me uh what type of brush it's for i think it's probably for loose powder yeah pressed powder but i loved the size and it would be great for travel and it just looks amazing in there so i grabbed that again this stuff might get donated and then i found this this is it's a makeup bag but i'm going to be using it and gifting it as a holder of pens and pencils but this is nice quality guys it's a very heavy plastic it is the flower brand so this is certainly not from the dollar tree i don't know what the normal price for this would be i'm gonna go with probably 5.99 or 6.99 but it's fully lined with this really pretty blue that's white washable so you can wipe it out yes it's great for makeup but I feel like it's also good if you're a journal junkie like myself to put pens, pencils, things like that in and travel, you know, for traveling around. Or if I go to Sarah's or she comes here or I'm hanging out at a coffee shop trying to get some work done, you know, I think these are great. So I grabbed one for Sarah. Uh, great to hold office supplies. And when I go back to the office, whenever that might be, I do need to bring with me pens and pencils and all that. It's not, we're not going to have assigned seating. And so I have to bring my stuff that I need to work during the day with me. So this would be a perfect for that. And I love the rose gold and this really chunky zipper pull. So that, my friends, is everything I have for this haul. I'm going to record another haul here in a second because I have a whole nother pile over there. So there's going to be a lot of Dollar Tree hauls up this week and a couple DIY videos. So I hope you're enjoying my content leading up to Christmas. Please like, subscribe. If you could watch the video all the way to the end, that really helps my channel grow. All right, guys, have a good one.